Hey! You don't mean it. He had a bush before. This time I can't hear last. Oh, really? Very big bush before. When you came here, it was a bush. Oh, yeah, it's bush. Nobody. Big bush. So I'm surprised today. Go houses. Hey. I'm so surprised. Can we all agree that this man right here is an industrial revolutionist? Yes, I think so. Because as an African man to own five industries in one country, these are the people that I think they have a lot to offer. These are the people that are ready to solve Africa's problems. And these are the people that I always feel proud to talk about. These are the people that I always feel so proud to celebrate. He has not given me any money, not even a dollar, but what he has done, I think he deserves 10,000 likes on this video. Do me a favor, like this video, and most importantly, share so that a lot of people will get to know about him. He established a motorcycle factory here in Nigeria, a plastic factory of which I'm gonna take you around he also got a tire manufacturing factory and also a car manufacturing company here in Nigeria. Why can't we celebrate an African man who is doing something magnificent on the continent? Maya, okay. the interior of this premises mm -hmm. is the Innocent Technical and Industrial Company Limited. It's actually the biggest plastic manufacturing company, not just in Nigeria, but the entire West Africa. The entire West, West Africa. Africa? If possible, in Africa. Yeah. In this place, we have over 150 lines of production. That we have over 150 production lines. We have the biggest injection machine. We have the molding section. Everyone. You, you, you mean like you manufacture plastics in here? Anything plastic. Anything plastic, both on the motorcycle plastic, on the vehicle plastic, household equipment plastic. You know, anything plastic. Is it this place that you're talking about? That yeah. Like whatever you, plastic that you use to yes, assemble yes, the yes, cars. Yes, yes. The, plas the plastic components of innocent vehicles are produced here. The dashboard, you see everything. That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, since it's the biggest, will I be able to walk around? Why not? Why not? I'm going to invite my boss to take you, walk you around the factory. The workforce here is about 4,500 across the three shifts. Morning, afternoon and night shifts. 4,500 workers. And all these people are Africans? They're Africans. They're Nigerians? Yeah. Doing all this? Doing all this. Made in Africa plastic? Made in Africa plastic. Yeah, we export our plastic to almost every, every African nation. We receive orders from different African nations. That's and we impressive. export to them. Yeah. That's impressive. Would you love to take me around? I think that's... Um, an innocent vehicle. That's yeah. an innocent vehicle. This is one of Everything the. Everything you see here is innocent. Don't yeah. See? That's innocent pickup. Yeah. Innocent four by four. Yeah. An innocent pickup and innocent and bus. Jeez, man. Yeah. All right, take me around, and um, um, I would love to see things myself. Yeah, I will invite the bus to take you around. Thank you. This thing you are looking here is mold. This mold will determine the production. It will determine the particular item you are producing. Whoa, this is injection machine. The injection machine determines the mold you put. It can produce that item. It can produce anything that is plastic. You understand? But this mold will determine which item you want to produce. Well, like, so, so like, which mold is producing right now? This one, what has No, they are, this very machine now are producing this lecture from the cycle. Oh. Uh, lecture from the cycle. <coughs> it depends on what you want to produce. This is producing image. This is the mode. This is the mode. This one now is producing image. Come on. Human image. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Human image. Yeah, it's like the mannequin. And... It's the mannequin. Yeah, this is the machine that produces it. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. 
So each machine has something to produce. It's not after he produced this image, enough quantity we need. We we'll bring the mold out and put another mold for another item we need to produce. So the machine can produce anything according to the mold we put. That's what I want to explain to you. You understand? But this is the first place that you started. Is it the first? No, I will show you the first machine I used to start. Okay, I want to see that. Because I started with one machine. With one machine? Yeah. And which year was I this? I will show you. Don't worry. When we reach there, I will show you. I want to know which year you started. First 2002. Two the vehicle is 2009. Uh -huh, the yes. vehicle is 2009. Yes. This uh, one is 2002. And two. Yes. Mm. This one now, we are producing this shade on this machine as of today. It's for motorcycle. motorcycle. Yes, we are producing for the Navy motorcycle factory. You have a manufacturing? Yes, yes. We produce the lechid here. This man is a whole powerhouse. He has a, he has a, a car manufacturing company. Whatever he has, he gets it from his own factory. That's incredible. This one is producing the legs for the table. Table. Uh, this one is straight table. He's producing the leg. Another machine is producing the table. Uh -huh. You can see how the production goes. You can come here, it will open now. That's it's not producing. The next few seconds it will open. You like cooking it. Mm, yeah. This one is the waste. Yeah. I think the waste you use it again. Yes, we look at it. Alright, come and get it out. Oh. Yes. You produce two at a time. Yes. Yeah, this one's producing shea. Whoa! Yeah, listen, like, this is really hot, which means they just produced it. So you, you believe that it's made in Africa, yeah? You can touch it like this. I can touch <laughs> Whoa! Got the one behind it, eh? You look at it. So that, that is the mold that you are talking about? Yes. Oh, okay. This is mold now. It's a chair mold. No, yeah, it's a chair mold now. You, produce it. you, can, produce, you can produce this one. This one? Anything you want. You put I it there. It, you put it there. Like that. This thing is here. Chair, we call it students' chair. Students chair. We produce for students. So you can introduce the Ghana students. Student, exactly. right. Look at it, look at it, how it comes out. This is the strongest chair now. If if you watch, you look like a wood. Yeah. Very strong. And then we're producing this one. Machine we used to start. The first ever machine. Uh, it's still working very perfect. If you watch now, it is a different size with all this one. But see how big it is. So every year model will be releasing. Oh okay. Uh, what, what made you decide to start this 
start a plastic manufacturing company here in Nigeria? Because I need a, a lot of plastic components for my Motos products, motorcycle, then. Which means that you had a motorcycle yeah. company that time? Manufacturing yes, I have, I have, yeah. Oh, so you're looking for a plastic company? Yes, that's yes, that's why I built it. So which means you're solving yes. every problem? And Africa, in Nigeria, and the first person. Chairman, why do you need to show me all these things, Chairman? I don't know, you don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you don't know. My factory in Enugu is not only this one, though. It's not a one? I, not, I have another two factories in Enugu. In Enugu? Yeah. This is one. And what, what, what factory is that? I have a time and fashion factory. So and let me go and come back. <laughs> I come back prepared. Okay. You know, this time around I was not really prepared. I just wanted to meet up with you, but next uh, time I'll definitely come prepared. Okay. I like the fact that you created so many jobs for young Nigerians. Yes. That's that's beautiful. Yes. How does this make you feel? Well, um, that's my job. I'm trying to create jobs for people. Create people, create an idea, mm -hmm. people can use it to survive. You understand? Like in Africa, I'm the only one who can produce this type of thing. Oh, that's, oh, that's one you see in the market, it's imported. It's imported. I, I'm, I'm the only one that's challenging them. But, but Chairman, I, I really want to know, yeah, what is that thing that really inspires you to do all these things? Because you always want to lie have the thing built and manufactured in your country? Well, um, I find out that I think that is the best way for we Africa okay. to manufacture things by ourselves. Before we succeed, we must start to manufacture by ourselves. Exactly. But only that uh, Africans never understand it. Any day Africa understand that if we work for ourselves, mm. manufacture for ourselves, mm. things will be easy. You can see, every day you see Africans in the airport taking a lot of insults, mm -hmm. going to overseas to do this and do this. So, I believe, if they really understand that doing things by themselves is the worst solution to their problem, I believe any day they understand that point. Which means that you know that this is the solution to our problem. Yes, that's the, that's the key solution to our problem. We should manufacture everything in Africa. Yes, yes, we should manufacture everything in Africa. Stadium seats. You also produce? You yeah. also produce stadium seats? Yes. Shall one, shall one. Yes. I'm so inspired. So we start from here. That one, we'll start from here. You see that table? We are producing the leg. This is the main table. Injection machine. injection machine. We have the largest number in West Africa. Large the largest. Stuff? Yeah. Nobody can have such. Yeah. Wow. You see? The other one producing the cover, the other one is producing the leg, this one is producing the the, the body. Oh. Right. This is this is based in Supply the whole of Nigeria plastic chairs, plastic yeah. materials. Yeah, no, I um, I supply the capacity uh -huh. we have. What are plastic companies in Nigeria? This is another stadium seat. This yes. You know, you put it in like this. Look at this one. The, the people that are working here, you train all of them? Yes, I train all of them. You train them by yourself? Yes, well, yes. You see, 
Buddhism was. You, you, you are an African industrial revolutionary. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Because I, I'm saying that in Africa we need industries. Yes. You're solving Africa's Afri problem. Africa need to support industries. They need to support industries. <laughs> this one? Yes. It's not two. It's the biggest injection machine in West Africa. It's not two in West Africa. It's only one? Yeah. And it's found in here? Y yes. What does it We're mean? using it to produce like motor bombers. Oh. Motor front bombers. bombers. And all those things. Something like that. See the size. It's huge. It brought here by 12 trailers in pieces and we assemble. The product by what? 12 trailers. 12 trailers of 30 ton. 30 ton. Mm -hmm. Brought it here. The raw materials that you use to produce? We, sometimes we get from Element Petrochemical Nigeria, sometimes we buy from the market. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, how are you? How are you? How are you? Uh, how are you? Uh -huh. You know, this is what they are producing. Uh. That's the only machine that can produce with imprint of pictures. Like saying now, if they are doing that, I can, I can engrave you like this. Okay. If you are doing this, the day you wait now. The day I will have my yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> you make all this for you. Yeah. This is for drinking. Plastic cups for drinking. Yeah. I really don't know what to say. I'm really speechless on what is going on, but yeah.